All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get ready for our review. Let me just get this set up real quick. Give me a second. All right, um, so good afternoon, guys. We're going to be covering a few concepts for our upcoming exam. And please participate or you won't do very well on this test, all right? So let's go ahead and start with the uh, ambiguity. So in many cases, groups fail to plan a clear goal for themselves, which causes them to struggle with decision making. Can anyone give me an example of this? No? Nobody? Come on guys, participate. Lucky. Yeah, I guess I have an example. So you remember the guy who traded the paperclip for a fully paid house? Well, he knew exactly what he wanted to do, and when we tried, we were totally unsure of what to do. Okay, yeah, that works. Uh, so what ended up happening in the long run? Uh, my group just ended up trading with whoever for whatever. Bro, you know what we should have done? That thing where they work backwards. Yeah, backward induction. It's where you start with exactly what you want, and you work your way backwards until you have all of your trades lined up. Yeah, that probably would have worked better, but we didn't start off with the goal in mind. At first, we got caught up in just making any trade. Yeah, maybe it would have worked if we actually communicated. All right, so it sounds like you had some interesting group dynamics at play. Since you didn't set a goal for yourself, how did you guys reduce the ambiguity? Well, we started out okay. We made a few early trades and agreed as a team on outcomes, which gave our group momentum. This sort of gave us a sense of direction. That is a great point. It kind of brings us back to last week's class about team dilemmas and how they can be positive and negative. And it seems like you guys had some pretty good momentum in the beginning by embracing effective characteristics. And I'm wondering, can you tell me more about the issues that your team had? Well, we had a lot of enthusiasm for the project. But as time went on, our commitment and accountability started to falter after we obtained a trade that we were unable to bargain with. That really slowed us down, and the group sort of just sunk into it. Right, so can you expand more on that trade? So, we had just traded a stuff bang for a comic book. We had two people interested in the comic book. Someone wanted to trade a watch for, that didn't have a battery, but we didn't want to make that hasty trade in hopes of getting a better offer. Then this other person said they would trade a record player. After doing a cost-benefit analysis, you know, weighing pros and cons for each choice, we went with a multifunctional record player. But surprise, surprise, the thing turned out to be broken, and so it made it more difficult to trade. And how did you guys handle that surprise? For a while, it seemed like there wasn't much we could do. We tried a bunch of influence tactics, like friendliness and reasoning, but they didn't work. And what did you guys do to solve that problem? Well, we realized that even though the CD player was broken, everything else worked. We marketed the things that worked instead of trying to compensate for the things that didn't. Yeah, instead of a partially broken record player, now we're trading for a record player that has a radio, a tape player, and auxiliary ports. That is an excellent solution to y'all's problem. So, essentially, your team performed a SWOT analysis on the product that you have, and then you were able to make trades going forward. Yeah, after prioritizing our strengths rather than weaknesses, we finally got it traded, but it took a while. Now, Nick, you had mentioned earlier about communication problems, and I get the feeling that it didn't end there. Would you like to add more? Well, after the problems with the record player, the team didn't seem that responsive anymore. Everyone just assumed that everyone else was getting things done. I noticed that too. I was never sure where we were or who was trading or who was trying to trade at that point. Was anyone else getting anything done? Uh, I don't think so. So it sounds to me like your group cohesion eroded into a textbook free rider solution uh, situation. You know, even though we didn't get the top spot, I think we all ended up learning an off from this exercise. Yeah, I'll definitely be able to keep my team on track and spot the warning signs in the future. Guys, you did such a good job today. You've got a really good handle on these concepts. I think you're going to do very well on the exam. So go ahead. Class is over.